Hello guys, welcome back to a new mountain biking adventure. Uh, this time is more a review of my uh, new bike and not that new, which is like almost a year old bike. So uh, I got this bike last year uh, in July uh, 2021 from uh, United States. I live in Canada, so it wasn't uh, that straightforward to cross the border with this bike but uh, I got it from bikes online for uh, $17,9900 and uh, I uh, ship it across the border with a shipping service they picked it up from United States and uh, they uh, deliver on this side of the border so uh, last year after more than uh, 12 years riding a uh, hardtail I thought that I'm uh, it's a uh, time to upgrade so uh, um, I thought of jumping to a full suspension bike, getting more serious about uh, mountain biking. So uh, I got this bike and uh, uh, I looked at in Canada last year uh, and I did the research, but it was very hard to get a bike uh, last year in July, August. Uh, everything was out of stock. Uh, Everybody at Giant Trek was saying that it's gonna take more than a year to deliver a bike. So I found the bikes online and uh, They had this bike ready. It's a this bike is a 27.5 inch wheel uh, Medium frame. I'm a 5'8. So this bike uh, fits me very well So it took like around two weeks to get into Canada, which was pretty fast uh, um, Considering they're delivering from uh, California so from my last year research, um, I figured out that uh, comparing with the Trek, uh, Giant, uh, all the other bikes, the Da Vinci that is sold in Canada, Rocky Mountain, uh, this, this company and this bike uh, offers the, the, the best uh, specs for the price. So I paid $70.99 ESD, which come up to $2,200 uh, Canadians. So uh, uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, what they put on the bike and uh, I think I did more riding last year than I did in my 12 years of uh, uh, hardtail uh, mountain biking. So uh, looking, at the, uh, looking at the geometry of this bike, um, this features a very modern uh, geometry. It has a long wheelbase, 1.2 meters. It has a slack head tube angle, 65 degrees, and a steep uh, seat tube angle, which is 71 degrees. So this bike is like made for uh, downhill and uh, slash trail. Uh, so downhill gave me a lot of confidence. Uh, never had any sensation of going over the bars or anything. I uh, rode pretty hard last year. I did my first jumps, uh, first drops. So uh the bike took everything like a champ uh, no complaints about that uh one thing that i noticed about the bike and because i had a hardtail before uh, the bike is way heavier than my hardtail my hardtail was weighing around 30 pounds 29 30 pounds this is a 36 pounds it's pretty noticeable um, going uphill also noticeable when you lift the bike up to put it on the car so uh, that made a difference, but you get used to it uh, after a while. Uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about uh, what it comes with. And uh, <clears throat> all right, so let's look a little bit of, um, at the specs. Uh, just a quick summary. It comes with the Diori drivetrain. So. Um, Everything on the drivetrain is the Ori. The bottom bracket is the Ori crank set uh, and uh, the 12 speed cassette and uh, the uh, rear derailleur, derailleur. I have no complaints about it. Um, the hubs, uh, the hub is a 410 boost hub Shimano. Um, so, also the Ori front the same. So, on the uh, drivetrain side, I broke the Diori derailleur, so I had to put an uh, SLX here. Uh, I dropped from a rock, caught the derailleur, broke, so I had to replace 
the derailleur and the chain so that, that's from the uh, drivetrain side now looking at the suspension the suspension uh, they put on this bike is a uh, RockShox uh, 150 millimeters travel uh, Recon RL silver suspension uh, well what can I say uh, is I'm very happy with it uh, although I didn't try any other uh, forks like a uh, pike or uh, uh, fox 36 so i wouldn't know the difference uh, so the fork is a boost fork with a, a very low offset i think it's a 37 millimeter offset uh, so uh, not to push the wheel too much in front with this uh, big uh, uh, wheelbase so that's about the uh, dry the suspension uh, and in the rear suspension uh, they put a RockShox Deluxe Select Plus it's a 140 millimeter uh, uh, shock again very happy with it although one thing that I would love is it only has on and off position it doesn't have like a middle position so uh, uh, I would like that to have it like in between but anyway uh, it is what it is i knew what i'm getting true 4 plus 2 orion p brakes which is a four piston in the front and two piston in the back very happy with the brakes very good stopping power uh, modulating is very good i used to have shimano before um, i pretty much can compare that this to those uh, i have no issues with it um, the only thing that they did wrong it was uh, putting the metallic synthetic pads a mix and they chipped out on the rotors and they put the raisins only shimano rotors and uh, i changed to xt metallic rotors so i don't understand that but i guess they want to save some money maybe nobody would notice anyway so moving on to the seat post uh the seat post uh, it comes with the trans x seat post uh, dropper 150 millimeters uh, uh, travel for the medium frame on a 27.5 inches uh, the actuator is uh, like this is the default I bought the uh, ZTTO one from Aliexpress people are saying that uh, it resembles the uh, wolf tooth one but pretty happy with this did some did some adjustments and it's pretty quick um, so I have no issues with the dropper pose, but I did change the, their Unity saddle uh, to the WTB Volt. I'm happy with this one. Uh, on the wheel side, um, the wheels are like they're saying is their custom wheel, which uh, they name it Entity uh, XL2, 27.5 inches wheel, alloy wheel. So I did the research online and it seems like this wheel is made by Ride. So it's a Ride Edge M35 wheel. 35 millimeters internal uh, size for the rim. So uh, I had some issues with the right with the rear wheel. So the rear wheel, uh, I started to break the nipples. It started with one, then it got to four. So I contacted the bikes online and i told them about the issue so they told me to get it to a bike shop and they will pay for the repair but what i did i actually bought the tools myself and uh, i uh, built i rebuilt the wheel with new spokes so what they did me by measuring the rim uh, they put like the wrong size of spokes on the drive side so they put 270 instead of 272 and they tightened too much and the uh, nipples broke so I built the wheel myself. They paid the. I sent them all the receipts, so they paid for it. Uh, also, the bike comes with a uh, uh, Hans Hansdown tires 2.6. But since uh, this uh, since this spring, I changed to a Maxxis Minion DHR2 and DHF2 uh, 2.5 and 2.4 tires. Uh, I think the 2.6 were too big for this bike and also 
I think they were slow. Um, I had a couple of washouts with that one, but I think that was also because of my uh, technique. So it seems like you on this modern new bikes, you have to lean more on the handlebar when you take the turn. So you put more pressure on the front wheel. So I start working on that. Um, but um, I decided to change the tires, uh, save some weight and also uh, save some uh, size on the tires. So other than that, what else did I do for the upgrades? Yeah, I upgraded the grips, uh, the grips that comes with the bike. That's those are the only ones that are pretty awful. So I put some Ori uh, grips uh, and uh, the other thing that I changed are the pedals. The pedal comes with the bike. They're not bad, uh, but I used to have this uh, race face chesters on my hardtail, so I decided to put those here. So other than that, I put the bike on the uh, tubeless. Uh, I set up tubeless, so now I'm running tubeless also with the uh, Schwalbe. Schwalbe, I was doing tubeless too. And uh, one thing that the bike, uh, because of the geometry, it's hard to, it's hard to put like a bottle, like a full size bottle here. So uh, I had to install a small size bottle, but even with this, it's pretty hard to take it out. So when you pull it out, you have to move it on the side. So that's why I have a plastic uh, bottle holder so I can, this is flexible. So it goes a little bit on the side. So, uh, in conclusion, I am very happy with the bike. I did a lot of riding and I'm planning more this year. Uh, I'm just waiting for the spring to uh, to come here in Canada. So uh, to do more riding, try more trails and uh, uh, hopefully progress. And uh, it was a pleasure for me to uh, show you my bike. And I hope you I'm going to see you in the next video.